Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corker with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television, where on this channel it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, we are here on part 5 or update 4. That's wrong. With that being said, we are on part 6, update 5 of the trailer to house the video production fly pack. So let's get right into it hello and welcome back to the updates for the video production trailer to house the fly pack we are on update number five and we have made major progress since the last update uh the framing is effectively done the electrical is effectively done so is the air conditioner and the ceiling so let's go take a look all right so starting from the back here let's make our way in and see what all we have accomplished. So first you might notice that we have some electrical boxes and this is gonna be our mains. So we open this up, this will be our, the main line in. We have all of our breakers for our uh, main circuits, all good to go. This is gonna be the box for the AC. So there's uh, two main breakers in there. And uh, I think originally I had mentioned about possibly having a uh, transfer switch ultimately we decided against that uh, so we're not going to have an onboard generator with this it's going to be essentially powered just by a generator that's supplied by either the customer or us on site that's going to be separate so two circuits coming in one for um, the mains which will also come down here and power the fly pack which takes two 20 amp circuits and then uh, the other main line coming in, which will be for the AC respectively. So I will uh, walk you around to the front and show you what that looks like just here in a second. Um, with the ceiling, we got this all put in and uh, we got holes for the lights that are gonna go in eventually uh, after we do uh, the carpeting, which is gonna be next on the list now that the framing is done. And uh, we have the vents coming for the AC, which I probably still will pull down and paint black. Um, same with the returns on the sides. Um, I just kind of got them up there and uh, just to see what it would kind of look like. Just to make sure everything was uh, where it needed to be. Um, another thing you'll probably notice is down here, we got the uh, tire framed out. So the spare tire is gonna go here. And uh, also the uh, desk space over top of this, which is going to be retractable. Essentially, it's going to be able to fold up so we can easily get the fly pack in. But again, this is where the video shader is gonna go. And uh, a nice little way to conceal the tire. Moving into the uh, production side, if we spin around here, same concept so we got the framing all done on the inside here we got our little shelves up we have our receptacle put in on both sides for uh, for our stuff still need to put in a little bit of framing there around the wheel well just to close that in but look at that the ceiling is all put in and uh, you may notice these channels up here I don't remember if I mentioned this in another update video, but the intention is to run LED strips down the length of this that are going to be on their own separate switch as well, just uh, you know for a little mood lighting. So that's why we didn't extend it the whole way to fill that area, um, just uh, just to keep in mind the aesthetics of things. So the audio booth is completely framed out. So is the uh, back row here. And if we walk over, you see we got the receptacles in. And just some uh, brackets that we're gonna use to help uh, maintain cable management, things like that. Over here, we got the dimmers put in for the lights 
Also have a, uh, a line here, which I ordered a uh, two toggle 12 volt switch, which will be used for uh, external lights, as well as uh, the LED lights, more than likely. So yes, uh, I will show you the uh, position for the external lights momentarily. And uh, finally, took the plastic off of the fiberglass. So that looks sharp. Very, uh, very happy with that. Coming in here, might get a little dark. Crystal clear. Great spot. Next thing is I'm going to have to uh, decide what I'm going to do for the monitors up there for the multi viewers. Um, I think it's going to be probably have to be two monitors if I uh, got my calculations correct. So there might be two mains and uh, I don't know. I might look at getting some smaller ones to put on the sides of everything. Um, have a, another switch in here for the uh, lights on the inside of this room and this fun little thing. So I had mentioned before in an update video about putting a, uh, a leg here and filling this in with uh, plywood so that we could hide this little access panel. Well, John, our uh, master craftsman, had a better idea. So similar to that concept, however, we now have this removable shelf. So we can pull that out and there's our access. So, function and form. So you put that right back in, and there you go. So, for the sheer amount of times I'm probably going to have to get in there, um, this will work. And then probably we'll just put a little uh, puck here for uh, cable access to pull out from that bottom uh, port that we had talked about. So yeah, everything is uh, pretty good here on the inside. We uh, did go and get carpet. So that was, a, that was a fun adventure. Transporting that on my uh, little Toyota. Very exciting. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next step is carpeting this thing. Once it's carpeted, then I can put the uh, the lights in. And just to show you what that looks like, so you see these little guys hanging down here. This is actually a little uh, uh, adapter box to go from 120 volt power. So you see what this looks like. So you have your leads for your ground neutral and hot, and it adapts it to a low voltage for the LED lights, which Look like this. Super thin, very low volt. It's gonna be great. They have little tabs that we will just kinda stick up there and put them in and they'll be good to go. So let's uh, walk outside so I can show you the uh, external light positions. So here on the outside, this is uh, just a little cable run for the external lights that's gonna be controlled. And I can't stress how useful it is to have those on the outside, especially when you're wrapping up uh, your production at the end of the day and you're trying to get all your stuff organized and back into the trailer. Having the, uh, the lights there are just irrefutably helpful. Then I just wanted to show you guys on the front here, that's gonna be where the main lines are. And additionally, I'm also considering putting a, uh, a box on the outside for 120 volt outlets, just uh, to have a little bit of access there. And just a quick side note, like I mentioned in the previous update video, one of the things they had to do was uh, order countertops. So after going in and taking the measurements of everything that I needed, I came to Lucidchart and I made a nice little diagram of everything and inputted the lengths of all the counters and marked which sides would be unfinished and attached to the wall so that when I went to the countertop manufacturer they would be able to have this all very easily accessible and understandable. And as you can see from the photos when they arrived they uh, all looked pretty good and uh, 
We'll show you in the next update video how that all looks when they are mounted. And that'll about do it for today's update video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you all for bearing with me as I struggle to get these videos out in a timely manner. Uh, football season has started and thus the broadcasting of football has started and that has kept me very busy, tied down, getting uh, things ready for that and uh, as the season progresses. So I do promise I'm gonna try and get these out as timely as possible. And uh, for those who are, who are asking, yes, I do have other projects that are more engineering centric uh, as far as video content for the channel. I am working on some projects there. It just, some of them are taking a little longer than expected between that and again, all my other responsibilities as a regular good old fashioned engineer. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that content. And until next time, we'll catch you right here on Broadcast Buddy TV.